seconds. That's all it takes to turn around a bad feeling, a literally painful physical feeling. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Meerman. I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Now, metaphysics refers to the fact that there's so much more to life and existence than exactly how we create our reality that we can ever be aware of using only our physical five senses. In fact, more than 99% of what exists in the world is completely, completely unaccessible, or is that inaccessible? Anyway, you don't get to know it's there or experience it so long as you depend on being able to hear, taste, touch, do or smell it. When you can allow yourself to be open to new experiences, that's when you'll have new experiences. We begin every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling really, really happy and really, really good. And I have a cool happy share that I want to share with you, because if it did this for me, I'll bet it can do amazing things for you. I've had a lot, a lot of health issues ever since I had that brain tumor surgery. And one of them has been a problem with high blood pressure. And since I'm a health fanatic and a healthcare practitioner, I know what to do to lower blood pressure, but I hadn't been able to get it completely down in the range I wanted to. Well, what I do every morning after I meditate is I write a list of 10 things for which I'm grateful. And I don't just list them, I really go through, close my eyes, and one at a time, feel what that event did for me. And of course, when you feel things, you relive them. Remember, mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So I get to feel it all over again and be so incredibly thankful, grateful that it happened. Well, I never thought of it before. But I was feeling a little frustrated that I could get my blood pressure near normal, but definitely not where I wanted it to be. So I decided to take my blood pressure after I completed my gratitude 10 times. And you know what? For the first time in maybe a year, actually, it's probably even more like two or three years, my blood pressure was totally 100% where I wanted it to be. The power of gratitude changes your life. Now, what I wanted to share with you today is what is this thing I'm talking about? In six seconds, you can change everything about the way you're feeling, including physical symptoms. Well, when you look on the webpage, metaphysicalministryinternational.com, you'll notice that it says Rev. Ali Bierman is the minstrel minister. And Today, a song came to me, and I thought, okay, surely the universe wouldn't deliver a song to me unless I could sing it. So, when I wrote it down and picked up my guitar an hour ago, you know what? I had a strong singing voice. I didn't quite have the range I want to have, so I had to alter how I was singing it. But an hour ago, I could sing it. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen right now. Because right now, <laughs> my voice seems to be disappearing. Let's see what happens. The power of touch. Every creature needs it so much. It's much more than a crutch to get you through the day. Touch is vital to your well-being. Prerequisite to your seeing all oh, that's good and perfect in your world. Flip a frown around, no matter the cause, because the miracle hormone connects you to others, instantly building empathy and trust, reminding you we are all sisters and brothers. Trust is a must. Do you agree? 
I'll tell you more in a minute, revealing the beauty and the power and the love that's in it. Well, when you hug, you can let heart to heart. I will show you how. You release the miracle hormone and you feel like you took a happy drug when you hug. When you hug, all that felt bad just moments ago. Immediately does a dive. Hey, this is no jive, my friend. A hug and a touch can put an end to all kinds of pain and misery. The best part? It happens instantly and it's free. And you recognize the truth. We are all connected as one. Feeling the great feeling makes your life so much more fun. Have you gotten your four hugs today? Have you given four hugs away? The more you hug, the better you feel. The more you touch, you know just how real natural healing and feeling wonderful can be hug someone today hug someone today hug someone today and be sure you get a hug back so i said i'd tell you more in a minute hugging the importance of a hug because i used to be a psychotherapist i read the studies where okay so they weren't humans but they were baby chimpanzees and they were deprived of touch touch you know what happened they all died a baby a child left alone without touch dies that's why they no longer leave newborns who are premature alone in an incubator now there's touch and whenever possible there's holding so What's happening that's causing touch to be important to health? When you touch, you're releasing what's come to be known as a miracle hormone. It's called oxytocin. And I used to think oxytocin only happened in women. It happens during the labor process. It happens that causes the letdown so that you can easily nurse a child. But it happens a whole lot more often than that. It happens when you touch. It happens when you hug. It's released when you gaze into the eyes of someone you love. Ever notice when you do that, that you get turned on and feel romantic? It's nature's way of procreating the species, keeping it going. It's why cuddling feels so good. Here's what's happening when the oxytocin starts flowing through your body. You have an increase in self-esteem. You have an increase in optimism, an increase in generosity. When you hug heart to heart, and I'm gonna see if I can demonstrate that for you. When you hug heart to heart, you get the added piece of your heart beating, becoming in synchrony with one another feeling the real connection. Did you ever notice when you hug or when you're touched or touch someone, you smile? Because it feels good. So you're getting the extra chemical release of all those feel-good hormones. But let me go on with what oxytocin does for you. It also increases your generosity. It allows you to feel empathy for the other person. And it creates instant trust in the other person. When I worked as a psychotherapist, I just instinctively knew that these people, I remember I worked in crisis care, so these were people living at home with happy families with lots of touching. Because frankly, in a county facility, you're not allowed to even touch somebody who really needs a hug and needs to touch. And whenever I got to work behind closed doors, exactly what I did. Do you know that some of those people never ever got a hug? Ever? 
Unfortunately, it wasn't something I could do out in the open. That's what people need. In addition to all the things that it's doing for you, producing, raising, it also lowers your stress level. It physically lowers the cortisol that's flowing in your bloodstream. It lowers your blood pressure. It lowers the feelings and symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. It decreases depression and anxiety. And get this, it can even, by the change in the hormonal structure, it can help someone reverse obesity. See why they call it a miracle drug? And here's something really important to know. You may know I'm writing a book that's quite extensively researched by me about mental illness. And you know what? It's possible to totally reverse mental illness. And I'm saying totally, even in the criminally insane. And it's possible to prevent it. And a big part of prevention has to do with diet and what's going on in the gut. Guess where oxytocin receptors are? They're in the gut. See how perfect nature is. Now, not everybody wants to be hugged. It's very important before you touch someone, and especially before you hug someone, to ask, is it okay? Because some people on the autism spectrum, so we're talking autism and Asperger's, we're talking bipolar and schizophrenia and ADD and ADHD. Sometimes they don't want to be hugged. Now, what I was saying before about how this oxytocin helps build empathy and trust, it also can help people who are shy and people with autism, helps them with their social skills, but you don't just walk up and touch somebody, else it's okay with them. So here's something else to know. If hugging doesn't work, say you're meeting a stranger. I'm somebody who's a huggy person. I tend to attract people who hug to me. So, I ask if it's okay to hug, or who they ask if it's okay to hug, even people I've just met. And if it's not, you know what? Shake a hand. You shake a hand for six seconds, and that touch is releasing oxytocin, and you're connecting, and you're going to feel connected to this person you just met, and you're going to feel good yourself. So, one more thing to note. Virginia Satir founded Family Therapy. And what she said was, it takes four hugs a day just to survive. It takes eight to get by. And it takes 12 hugs a day to thrive. 12 hugs a day to thrive. How many people go through their life? even one. So make sure that you give a minimum four hugs a day and make sure that you're getting those four hugs a day. Hugging heart to heart is really important. It's really critical. And you'll see it in a lot of cultures and within a lot of subcultures. Like in the particular health care I do as a specialized kinesiologist. In fact, I see official way to hug lifters and official anyway. I'm really glad you joined us here today in the ministry. If you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space For. If there's something you want in your life that isn't there now, just let us know what it is. We'll help you manifest it because what we'll do is go to the page and you tell your friends and family to go there. Read every name on it and just Imagine that person living that life. You don't have to know what they look like. You don't have to know who they are. It's a person with a name, and the universe knows who they are. So whoever they are, just the way you would do gratitude feelings, just feel that this person with this name is manifesting and living the reality. They requested, and if it's you, the reality, you. If you haven't done so already, go in over there. 
fill in your name and email and get you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And I really appreciate if you've gotten something out of this, please click like and share so that other people can be aware of the simple power of touch, of a hug, of a loving gaze. And you know what? Just thinking about somebody that you really love. That also releases oxytocin. And a wonderful week. Hugging and touching, gazing into the eyes of your partner. And just feeling the love of connection. And many, many blessings. I tend to draw huggy person, persons. <laughs> I try. It decreases impre impression.